Welcome to online classes, students. Today we are going to learn how to do statement sums. Right? Here is a one statement for the subtraction. Right? It's a subtraction chapter, chapter three for class third. Statement sum. First, in a village, there are. 2560 children right how many 2560 children so 890 of them are aged above 5 years how many 890 are above 5 years now what he asked that how many children are below 5 we have the total strength of the children which is in the village, right? We have the total amount or total counting of 890 of those ch uh, children that above 5 years. Now what we have to find, we have to find below 5 years age children, right? So, come to the point. We have these two sums, right? From these two sums we will find the answer. That how many children are below 5 years age. Right. So what we have? Children in village. How much? 2560. So here it is. 2560. Come to another line. That 890. Those above 5 years. Right. Children above 5 years. 890. So we have written here 890. Right. So we will find the child below the 5 years. So we will subtract. Okay. Here. 0 minus 0. Now we can't subtract 9 from 6. So 6 borrow. Right. From 5. So 5 become 4 and 6 become 16. Right. When we subtract 9 from 16. Right. So 7 will left. And now 8 and 4. Right. We can't subtract 8 from 4. So 4 also take a borrow from 2 and 2 become 1 and 4 become 40. Right. Now from 14 we have to subtract the 8. So for the further counting, like a small kit, we will do after 8, 9 till 14. 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So how many digits are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is 6. Right. So here is nothing. In our previous video what said, if there is nothing, we will take 0 here. Right. For supposing, there is nothing. We have to suppose there is 0. Right. So, 1 will come here. There is nothing to subtract with it. So, we will take as it is. Right. So, the answer is 1670 children below 5 years. If the strength of above 5 years is 819 in the village, so there is the strength of below 5 years is 1670. Right? This is your answer and this is your statement sum. And so many statement sums are given in your book. So you have to do with this method. So we are not going to end this. We will discuss the one more. Okay. Suppose, suppose uh, in a cinema, in a cinema hall, there are thousand seats, right? Thousand seats. But on one day, 825 people watch the film. 800, uh, 825, right? From We have thousand seats, but in a one day, people watch 825, right? So how many seats were empty on that day? In one day? We have 1000 seats in a cinema hall which is filled with the 825. So how many left? We have to find it. 
Right. So we will find the answer of how many seats are left that day by subtracting the thousand, right? Eight hundred twenty-five from thousand. So firstly, we'll write in a what we have question in a cinema. In a cinema hall, right? Cinema hall. There are thousand seats. There are thousand seats. Hope this is uh, visible to all of you, and this is a clear video for you all. So, uh, seats one day, right? One day. Eight hundred twenty-five people. People watch the film. Watch the film. As our question is, how much seats are left on that? How much seats? How much? Oh, hope so. How much? Not that. How much? Right? How many? How much? Not how many. Sorry. How many seats? Seats. How many seats are left? For empty. Right. Empty that day. I'm using the left word for your subtraction that you would always remember where we take a left to do the subtraction, right? What firstly we will do the numbers of seats, right? Numbers of seats in cinema halls. So what is the number of seats, right? What is the number of seats? Thousand. Right. So here we will be write the thousands. So how many people watching movie? Eight hundred twenty-five. Right. How many people are watching movie? Eight hundred twenty-five. People watch the watch the film is eight hundred twenty-five. Eight hundred twenty-five, right? So we have to find the that how many seats are empty? Empty seats on that day. So here is the answer. We can do. We can't subtract. Five from zero as example, okay. So five from zero, it is impossible. So what what we have to do for take borrow from one, but it's also zero. If this zero will take borrow from this, this is also zero. So what we will do? This zero will take one. So here will be a zero, and it has become ten. And when this ten given one borrow to this zero, that become nine, and that will will become ten. But this ten also give the borrow to another number, right? Zero, and this will also become a nine, and this will become ten, right? So ten minus five equal to five, and nine. Now here is the left is nine, nine. Subtract by two. We have to subtract two from nine. So, what we'll do? Cut nine. Eight, seven will be here. Right. Come to this point. Here it is nine. So, this is the hundred now. We will subtract with the hundred. Right. Eight, nine minus eight. So here will be 
Why? The answer is 175. That day, 175 seats are empty from the 1000. Right? Here is your answer of the second statement sum. That's all for the day. Right? Statement sum. And our chapter subtraction is done. Now, from the next video, we, will, we are going to start the other chapter. If you have any problem regarding this sum or any other sum from this chapter, please comment. Please comment in your uh, at classroom app also. Please join it. And please try to get involved in uh, all class activity so that we can discuss over it. Okay? Thank you students. Thank you.